viewers in my last scratch video i had taught you how to animate and move a sprite when arrow keys on the keyboard were clicked in this video i plan to teach you how to make a simple chase game using a sprite and uh, we will be also maintaining a scorecard for that game so let's begin first click on create so let's uh, first get rid of scratchy the cat I will be using my own sprite in this game and in this way I will be showing you how to upload your own images on scratch. So I will be going to sprite, choose a sprite and then I will be clicking on upload sprite. And this is my zombie. So I will be basically making a zombie game. So I will just upload the first image, the first costume. So now I have this zombie, this cute little zombie here and I will be now uploading the other images in its costumes. So this is the costume section and I will be just going here and I will be doing upload costume, clicking on there and then I will be choosing the rest of the costumes. As you can see the costumes have been added and this is a zombie with this clumsy kind of movement when it is walking. So let's add the code for it, but first let's uh, give some kind of a creepy background to make it more colorful. So I will be going to choose a backdrop, clicking there and I will be choosing woods from here. So now this looks very uh, scary looking and you know the night with the moon there, but our zombie is too big. So the, here the size says it's 100. So I will just make it half and this is an appropriate size. So now we are going to add the movements for it. Uh, I want the zombie to just glide up when the up arrow key is pressed and to glide down when the down arrow key is pressed and to actually walk because we have those costumes for walking to actually walk when the right and left arrow key uh, keys are clicked. So let's do the, uh, the easy ones first and those are the up and down arrow keys. So we will go to the event, choose when the key pressed and we will choose up arrow from here. And what we will do is we will do, go to motion and we will change Y by 10. Remember I told you that these are the Y points and these are the X points. So if you have to go right or left, we change the x points we change the x and if we have to go up or down we change the y so we are changing y by a positive number because we have to go up and we will just copy this code put it here choose down arrow here and change y by minus 10 because this is for going down so look this is the basic code it's going up going down okay now we will do the right left code so we go to events, event space key is pressed but we choose the right arrow key and now we have to do something different here because we have to make use of all those beautiful costumes of the zombie. So what we are going to do is that we are going to put a repeat loop here and what should be done? It should be repeated 8 times because we have 8 costumes. So do it eight times and what should be done eight times go to motion and choose change x because now we are talking about right left movement so we are going to ch be changing x so we're going to change x by a tiny number a small number two as compared to y because we were moving that by 10 uh, changing that by 10 so we are changing x by two and we will change the costume so whatever costume is next, next costume and then we are going to put a little bit of delay as the human eye cannot see very fast movements. So if we don't put this delay then it will be going very fast and we will be not be able to see the, the fine movements of the, of the uh, zombie uh, that were in the costumes. So we'll just then add not a one second delay otherwise it will be too slow just a 0.05 seconds delay and look look at I'm pressing the right key and look he's walking 
like a zombie okay and we will just copy this code do it for the left arrow and instead of x change x by 2 we will be doing it by minus 2 so this should take care of everything but not yet because you can see our zombie is backward walking so we remember we had something like this in the crab uh, video too we had to point the sprite in the correct direction so we will be going to motion and point in for the right arrow 90 degrees and for the left arrow minus 90 but you will see another problem with this thing so I'm going right but when I'm doing left it is upside down so we have to tell that when it points the rotation style should be left to right if you can see it's uh, actually all around so that's wrong we want it to be left right but it's not correctly set so the way to go about it is that you go to events and when the flag is clicked when the game is started just set the correct rotation style so now when I will press the flag this should take care of the problem see on the left arrow it's it has rotated correctly now another problem with this code is that our zombie is going beyond the screen so how to take care of that problem we have to use this feature that has been offered by scratch it is in motion and that is if on edge bounce so we'll just put it here so this will take automatically take care of the edges see it has bounced and we have to do exactly the same thing for the up and down arrow key because you can see when I go down it's again going outside the screen this seems to be in order now what is the zombie doing in this game this cute zombie of ours uh, it likes muffins so let's add a muffin sprite so go to search food and we have the muffin and this muffin is very big so we will also reduce its size by 50 and this is an appropriate size or our zombie and this zomb this muffin also has two costumes one is the solid uh, the complete muffin and this is has a bite taken out of it so what is the muffin doing here what we can do with this muffin is that it comes on the screen it shows up on the screen for five seconds and then it goes to a random position and it shows up there so how to go about that so we are going to do what we are going to do is first we need the event that when the flag the green flag is clicked you have to forever do something and what should be done that it should go to a random position first of all uh, it should hide hide is in looks so it should hide go to a random position and then it should show up so showing up is in looks show up for about five seconds so weight is in controls and we put the weight lock here and we change it to five so what will it do it will first of all it will just hide nobody can see it and then it will go to a random position and then it will show up it will keep on showing for five seconds and the zombie has to get to that muffin in those five seconds otherwise that muffin will disappear and it will appear in another random position okay so let's start try our code see it's showing up and it's now in another place okay so this some problem with this code as you can see now this is a little bit outside the screen so how to solve that problem so let, let me first stop the code by pressing the red uh, button so the thing is that a random position can be somewhere here too so this is this is also a valid random position but if the muffin comes here so it's 
partly outside the screen so we have to tell uh, which are the random positions it can take so we have to actually give it some numbers which it can take randomly so what is a good number for x x should not be less than minus 196 otherwise it will be outside the screen so x should be minus 196 or it can be any number less than 239 so let's see how to do that we go to motion and we will be changing go to random position with something else and that will be this go to x but now we have to uh for the this x part we have to give it a random number so what will we do we will go to operators and we will pick a random number and the random number the larger number can be 239 and the smaller number is minus 169 so this will take care of the x okay so i'm going to change the x point with this the random now we have to do exactly the same thing for y so what are the uh, um, the correct values for y for the muffin to appear completely on the screen so y has to be between minus 168 and 155 so we'll do another same thing and we will correct put this here too so this has taken care of that problem so now all the random positions will be all within the screen and not outside the screen Now we have to add some code for the zombie to eat the muffin. So we are going to add that code in the muffin area and what will that code do? It will be inside of the green flag. So we will go to events when the green flag is clicked and we will go to controls and we will be forever checking if the muffin is touching the zombie. So we will take the if block and what goes inside the condition condition is sensing that if it is touching zombie 1 so what should happen inside the if condition it should change its look to the the one which had a bite taken out of it so we will be going to looks and we will be switching the costume to muffin b and we should have some sound it has a default sound of chomping so we will put that there so let's see what happens now okay and it should also hide okay so um, once the zombie has touched it so it means he has eaten it so it should hide so let's go to looks and hide the the eaten muffin so now there's another problem because we changed the costume to muffin b now it's coming like this chewed muffin so we have to give the correct muffin costume here so that every time it appears again it should be the solid muffin and not the eaten one okay so this should take care of this issue let's do it in full screen green flag zombie is walking and it's eaten it now we need to have some score we don't know how many muffins have been eaten by the zombie so for for keeping a score we need to go to variables whenever we want to store something like numbers scores marks or players names we use variables so i'm just going to click on make a variable and this will be score and this will be for all sprites because i want it to be visible for all sprites and not just for the muffin so we have the sprite and we can see the score here if we have some private variables which we don't want to show to the people who are playing our game so we can just click on this checkbox and this disappears and this appears again so we have our score here so now we have to maintain the score and we maintain the score 
in the muffin area that whenever the zombie is touched we should change our score by one that is increase it by one so we choose our score and now let's try our game in full screen let's see if we can get there in time no we did not but we can glide to the second one so you can see that uh, we have made this very cute little game and we can do a lot of customization with it that we can add our music to it we can have levels in it we can change backdrops when the score reaches a certain point we can even change our muffin into something like an ice cream or something so uh, we can do a lot of uh, things with this um, i will be also um, sharing my version of this zombie game where i have added some music to it and um, some levels to it so can, you can get a better idea of what you can do to make this game better so i hope you like this video please share my video with your friends and family thank you goodbye